Oh, why, yes, I did get a haircut. And yes, I did grow a beard recently, probably in the last two days or so. What else is gonna change, you ask? Well, Accenture Presents is getting a whole new look. It's gonna be a look that is beautiful and amazing and starting Advent and watch for it, wait for it, look for it, and enjoy it. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. So there are, I think there are two ways of looking at the world. There's two ways of looking at your stuff. There's two ways of looking at yourself, your body, your time, basically everything you've been given. One is as an owner. Like, so the, all my stuff is my possession, right? I own it all. So I own my body. Um, I own uh, my time. I own all the gifts that I've been given. They're, they're all mine. They're, they're, I'm, the I'm the possessor of my stuff. Um, that's one way of looking at the world. One way of looking at my stuff. And so what do I do is, since it's mine, um, I do what I want with it, right? Even since it's mine, I might like parse it out and share it with other people. Since it's mine, I might even let God have some of it because it's mine. The other way of looking at the world, looking at my life, looking at my stuff, is as a steward. Not an owner, but a steward. In that case, um, my stuff has been entrusted to me. It's not even my stuff. You know, there, there's a, a, a parable that Jesus tells in many of the Gospels. Um, many? At least two. There's the, the master who entrusts uh, the talents, right? Or entrusts the gold coins to the servants and says, here, uh, use my money. Take my stuff and, and use it. And it's interesting because I was praying about this. I was at a thing in Bismarck at the University of Mary recently. And uh, this just kind of struck me, this reality that even when the master comes back, he says, okay, what have you done with my money? So yes, he entrusted the gold coins to those servants. But they were not the servants' gold coins. They were not the owners. They were not the owners of the gold coins. They were the stewards of the gold coins. They didn't possess the gold coins in the same way. They were entrusted with the gold coins. And I think about this when it comes to my life, when it comes to a lot of our lives, is we can look at ourselves as the owner. I'm the owner of my time. And so I'm the, I possess it. And yes, again, I can give it to you out of my generosity, or I can give it to God out of my generosity, or maybe he's, I'm the steward of my time, and he's entrusted this to me. And so I basically start every day by asking, okay, God, what do you want me to do with the time you've entrusted to me? What do you want me to do? Because it's, it's not mine. It's yours. You see, here's what happens. There's kind of a dark side of, of walking through life as owners. There's a dark side of walking through life as the one who possesses. Um, one is I'm insensitive to the fact that this is what's been given to me, right? I, I'm indifferent to it. I just I take it for granted. That's what I'm saying. I take it for granted. Like, well, yeah, I mean, this is my time. It's clearly mine. This is my body. It's clearly mine. These are the gifts and talents and opportunities, people around me. I'm indifferent because they're mine. I'm the owner. And then what happens is if they leave, if they're gone, like maybe you get sick and you can't, you're not as healthy as you were. And we begin resenting. We not only are insensitive and indifferent and ingrate, in, have ingratitude, ungrateful, but we're also, when it's gone, we are resentful. Because like, wait a second, my thing is now taken away. But if you were the steward, then every day you wake up and say, rather than saying, God, what have you done for me lately? Um, you'd say, well, it's called, uh, you're alive today. <laughs> um, God, what have you given me lately? Well, he, can, he's, he continues to give you a new heartbeat every moment. All the gifts we have are, that, are just that. Like everything you and I have is a gift. Like we didn't do anything to deserve any of it. I mean, think, I didn't do anything to deserve this body that I have right now. I didn't do anything to deserve the fact that I'm alive right now. I didn't do anything to deserve the family I've been given, good or bad. And so if, I, if I'm, I'm the receipt, I've, I've been entrusted with this gift. I'm the steward of this gift. Therefore, every day I'm grateful. Like every day I get to look at it and say, oh my gosh, God, this could have been otherwise. And not only am I grateful, if he takes it away, I cannot be resentful because it wasn't mine to begin with. Now, this is, this is where this, this, this hard word can come in. Because it is really easy when we have something taken from us, right? When it, when it passes, when it goes away, to stop trusting God. I don't want to get into the details too much, but I recently um, know of a family who encountered in great, a great incredible tragedy where um, his mom and dad, uh, their son died. And it's true. It's like their heart's truly broken, like truly broken. And in the midst of all that broken heart, heartedness, like just... I don't want to minimize this in any way, shape, or form, like real, real tragedy, real brokenheartedness. One of the things that they kept coming back to is um, their son was only about four years old. And they said, essentially, we're going to choose to realize 
that we didn't do anything to deserve our son. Like he was God's free gift to us that he entrusted us with him. We got to love him for four years, that he loved us for four years. They said, you know, we, we give our whole hearts to him for him, our whole lives for him, but he wasn't our possession. We weren't his owners. God had entrusted him to us for four years. And so for four years, we were the best mom and dad we possibly could be. And we loved him as a gift entrusted to us. And yes, if we could choose, he would still be with us today. But we are battling against resent, resentment. And we're winning that battle against resentment because we know this is the truth. He wasn't ours. He was simply a gift. We didn't own him. We were stewards of raising a young boy up to four years old. Again, this is just a hard word, right? It can be a potentially hard word, but that's why there's two ways of looking at the world. Two ways of looking at the world. One is that I'm the owner of my stuff. The other is I'm the steward of God's stuff. One is I'm the possessor of these gifts. The other is God has entrusted me with these gifts. One way is I'm ungrateful because I'm taking them for granted. The other is I am thankful every day because every single day God renews those gifts in my life. So how have you been walking through your life? as the owner of your stuff, your time, your talents, or as the steward of God's stuff, his time, his talents, as someone who's insensitive to all the gifts or as someone who is absolutely, insanely grateful for all those gifts. I want to be a steward. So I say, God, what do you want me to do with your gifts today? Because I don't want to take them for granted because they could be gone tomorrow. And even then, I'd be thankful for the time that you let me have with them. Steward or owner, the choice is yours. From all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.